Hey friends, it's Annie with some brief updates from Annie Land. And I know that's not how you're supposed to do YouTube videos. You're supposed to have a topic and a hook and a clickbait title and all that stuff, but whatever. I'm just gonna give you some updates because why the hell not? So, uh, it's September, so I'm super busy getting ready for Halloween, as one does. <laughs> I'm, um, as you may or may not know, I have another business besides eBay. It's called Keep Salem Odd, and I have a website that's built on Shopify, because I know you guys like to know that stuff. Um, and in the fall, I do a lot of in-person pop-up things for Keep Salem Odd. It's a really uh, busy time in Salem in terms of tourists. Um, like last year, we got a million tourists in October, and this is a small city of like 40,000. So it was pretty inundated, which I mean, I think it's awesome. I think it's really cool that our economy runs on Halloween. <clears throat> Excuse me, even though you will find the old, older jaded or not even older. You'll find citizens of Salem who are m very jaded and irritated at the bazillion tourists, but you know, I work with it. So I am doing a lot of book binding and making handmade, handcrafted things. Also, I um, curate a selection of items that I sell at these um, events that I purchase wholesale and also I um, design things that I have uh, screen printed or produced in various ways. So there's a lot of plates in the air, but they're pretty fun plates, so it's cool. I, I kind of like being busy, I hate to say it. And so I'll, my first um, date I am vending is September 16th and then all through October like a lot and I don't know I'm pretty excited actually so that's occupying a lot of time but meanwhile meanwhile I'm also cranking on my eBay store and I I'm almost back up to 10,000 listings it's, I don't know the exact number 9,000 something and it's going I'm really I've been getting a lot listed and I have to say that having an assistant part-time is extremely helpful with that um, she's doing a fantastic job like we sort of collaborate and it, it seems to work out really well so I'm still I still am on a moratorium <laughs> for buying new inventory I'm still cranking through everything I have and I'm getting there. There's a lot of stuff still, but it's really small and compact, so it's it doesn't look like that much, but it is. I've I've listed um, hundreds of vintage buttons and postcards and just bits and bobs, all kinds of ephemera, in the past couple months, and I'm making a dent in it and I'm having to come up with new ways of storing listed inventory in the same amount of space, which is very fun, sort of. Anyway, but yeah, sales have been okay. I have to say, you know, there's the random slow day here or there, but um, you know, it's going, going pretty well. I, I just did all my packing up for the weekend sales so I feel like I'm selling tons of stuff but it's because it was the weekend but I did sell a couple things that were cool um maybe I'll show you in a what sold video eventually anyway um also going on I may have mentioned this before but I'm starting to put together what I'm calling reseller packs and basically these are just um semi-curated lots that I'm going to be listing on eBay with the idea that other resellers buy them and then parse them out and sell all the items individually. And I'm doing, at the moment, I've done a lot with print ads, getting those ready. Um, I also am doing a few, or at least one lot of like maps and vintage travel brochure stuff. Um, 
maybe other things. I have a lot of ideas, but that's what I've started working on so far. And the idea is that I'm gonna list them all on eBay with the word reseller pack in the title and they will be priced as I see fit. Still really cheap for, for people to resell, but um, you know, it's kind of like a dollar an item ish and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a coupon and I'm gonna give it to you guys so if you watch my channel <laughs> you can buy these reseller packs for half price so I'll definitely tell you as soon as I get that set up it will be soon um, and so it's I think it's going to be pretty cool because these these are not like junk drawer lots these are actually you know good things that i would sell but i'm trying to um basically clear inventory and make space because i don't have enough space and i do have enough inventory so i thought i'd pass it on to you guys and let you sell some stuff <laughs> um I think the magazine ads are going to be really cool because I'm, I'm doing 100 packs and they're all like like 50 years old or more and I'm not picking through them at all. I'm giving you all the good ones that I find. So like when I go through magazines to find vintage ads, I basically cut out the ones that will sell and that's what they'll be. <laughs> and. Um, yeah, so far there's some really fun ones that I've come across and I'm excited to have someone other than me list and sell them. <laughs> anyway, um, as soon as I get that organized, I will give you all the details. It's, it's close though. Um, in other news, and this is strange a little bit to me, but um, last week, eBay was here in my office <laughs> um, filming some footage for a seller spotlight. And I don't know if you've ever watched those. They post them from time to time or like once a month probably, I think, on eBay. And they, you know, go interview somebody who's a seller and um, whatever. So anyway, they came and filmed me and it was it was it was fun actually it was a little weird I mean I, I'm not I, I've never wanted to, <laughs> to be an actor or on camera a lot which is weird that I have a YouTube channel I mean not that I was acting I mean I did have to read two two lines and they'll be obvious because yeah they told me what to say, two sentences, but the rest of it is all um, honest and true and is a straightforward interview. And yeah, it was pretty interesting. They interviewed me for an hour and a half-ish and, and we did some like B-roll and some different setups and stuff. And it was, um, it was kind of thought provoking actually. <laughs> so I didn't, I didn't really plan my responses because I'm bad at that. I'm bad at remembering what I thought I should say. So I just said things and, um, I mean, you know, like people find a lot of fault with eBay and I, I get where they're coming from and I'm the last person to be like, yay, corporate overlords. But I do actually really value the platform and the opportunity that it provides and I, as a person who has worked in tech, I empathize with the things that are problematic and the competing stakeholder desires that cause things to be certain ways. So, you know, I don't really diss on eBay because it helps me to run my business and I'm pretty down with that. Though I'm not discounting anyone else's experiences but anyway, it was interesting to, you know, I tried to keep it really positive, but honest. So it was, it was, it was fun. Actually, the, the film crew were really um, nice people and we <laughs> had, uh, you know, good day. 
um, what else? Oh, so yeah, that's that thing is gonna come out in October because I'm the spooky person. And so my angle is that I sell ephemera and I live in Salem and um, like I have brochures for cemeteries handily available, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> but it's cool. I'm happy to play that role. I like spooky and I like ephemera, so <laughs> I can be that that weird goth girl. I'm good. Um, is that all the things? Oh, a couple things about eBay I wanted to tell you. <laughs> we're going, we're, we're zooming into the micro level now, but if you haven't noticed on the mobile app, you can now send offers in bulk from the mobile app. And I, when I saw that, you know, I'm not a religious person, but I was like, hallelujah, because it was, it's just, it was, I wouldn't use it before because it was such a pain to send offers one by one. So I highly recommend that if you're into that sort of thing, check out sending offers in bulk from the mobile app. It makes your life a lot easier. Um, and the other thing, uh, another like random tiny UX thing, but you know, we gotta celebrate the, the good parts, right? So the other thing is for a while, eBay made a change so that when you're, when you're shipping on the desktop app and you're looking at your item in the teeny little square thumbnail and you're like, what is this? I need to see a picture so I can find it in the closet. So when, and, and you click to see the listing, they had made this change where instead of just showing you the listing, it showed you like a full screen, like above the fold and somewhat below where it was like all this, I don't even know, sponsored content or, or if you like this, you might like that type stuff and you had to scroll down and down to see the item and it was incredibly irritating and it went away. They got rid of that. So if anyone <laughs> uh, complained, thank you. And if eBay just realized that that wasn't the best UX for sellers, thank you. Um, you know, some things you don't even notice that are good until they go away and then it came back so those are some um happy <laughs> ux victories i don't know what has gotten into me today i think i'm being really weird or different weird than usual so excuse me but maybe it's an improvement i don't know at any rate if you have any requests for topics you'd like me to cover on this channel please let me know um any technical like eBay stuff or bulk uploading stuff or a selling philosophy or what sold videos or please don't do what sold videos or um, I don't know how to store 10,000 items in your closet videos <laughs> that might be scary but anyway whatever anything let me know because I am here to be less boring than I might be if you didn't make suggestions. <laughs> and also feel free to write comments, ask me questions, whatever. Um, I'm also still offering paid consulting on bulk uploading. And if you have a huge project and are super overwhelmed and need one-on-one -on -one help, I would be happy to do that um, in a way that works for you. So let me know about that. Also, thank you for watching and I forget. Um, and have a fabulous day. Okay, bye. <laughs>